Hello, welcome. I'm continuing my series where I go back and I look at different shows, movies, whatever it is, and we talk about them because I've done one on reality TV shows, I've done one on Disney, and I thought, well, what's the next best thing? What was my other thing that I had to watch all the time? And there's only one right answer, and that's Nickelodeon. If you guessed anything else, you can click off this video because I'm telling you right now, the holy grail of the 2000s was reality TV, so like MTV, Disney, and Nickelodeon. So today I'm gonna be doing my little deep dive into Nickelodeon shows, because when I tell you I was a, okay, my main was Disney, I won't lie, I was a Disney child, but I was like also a Nickelodeon child. Trust me when I say that. One thing about Nickelodeon that I've realized is that it had so many more cartoons than Disney. Like Disney had good cartoons, like Phineas and Fur, Pillow, but something about Nickelodeon cartoons, like Spongebob, I, Loved Spongebob. I still love Spongebob. I remember the Spongebob movie. You know the thing they ate? The Goofy Goober. I don't know if that was the place or that was the food. And it's like, I'm the Goofy Goober. Yeah. I need to find out what that was they ate in that. They got something called the Goober Meal. And it was this ice cream. And oh my god, I would literally dream about it. I wanted it so bad. And the way they would eat it, they would just inhale it. I was like, I want to do that too. Does anybody actually eat banana splits because it looks like a banana split kind of thing but I've never actually seen someone eat banana with ice cream I don't know I just don't like banana flavored things so like my brain thinking of vanilla ice cream with a banana I'm just like ew who knows maybe if I tried I'd like it it looks really good like I'm not saying it doesn't look good but yeah but anyways I'm, I'm getting off topic I always fucking do this I love Spongebob and I love the Spongebob movie it took me literally five fucking minutes just to explain to you I want the goofy goober meal you know which episode of Spongebob I really loved? I think I was just a fat bitch child. But you know the one where there's like all of the, like all the Krabby Patties are in this huge safe and they go like literally swimming in them and like Squidward becomes so fat. I was so jealous. I've always wanted to try a crust, crusty crab. Am I okay? I've always wanted to try a Krabby Patty. It's buns, patty, pickles, lettuce, tomato, cheese, ketchup, mustard, and onions. Okay, so it's literally a cheeseburger. Wait, no, that's not a cheeseburger. What the, what the fuck am I saying? Someone let me know. Oh my God. No, I'm doing that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a video one day where I'm gonna make <gasps> I'm gonna have a video one day where I make like the famous foods from TV shows and movies Oh my god, I need to calm down because I'm gonna get into a tangent of other movies and stuff that don't Danny Phantom Mr. Danny If I could just promote myself to you Danny right now I just want to let you know that yes, I am 21 now I'm not 7 anymore But you can still get it like, I'm sorry, if you watched Danny Phantom and didn't have a crush on Danny Phantom, you were watching the wrong show. Like, if he wasn't your literal awakening or, like, part of your awakening, you were missing out. You can't tell me you watched Danny Phantom and didn't think... To the girls and the gays, we all know what Danny Phantom did to us. We know what... The, the impact, the trials and tribulations he went through, the fucking impact this dude had on us. Like, there was just something about him. His, like little like silver hair and yeah Danny was it Danny was fucking it for real but I only liked him when he was Danny Phantom when he was just like Danny what was his name when he was just no I think it was like Fenton Danny Fenton when it was Danny Fenton I was like meh but when it was Danny Phantom I was like I was like yup yeah Sam oh I wanted to be Sam so bad she would be an amazing Halloween costume I'm gonna put her up on the screen but she would have been the best fucking Halloween costume. She was just that bitch. She was that bitch. Danny Phantom was such a good fucking show. I remember watching Danny Phantom. I'd come in from primary school and I'd just switch the TV on and it was just my, my time to relax, you know? It was just my time to wind down, see a bit of Danny, a bit of SpongeBob, a bit of everyone, just wind down. Like my mum would make me a sandwich or some shit or eat some chips. It was just a good time. It was awesome. Oh my God, you know what I used to eat so much when I watched TV? French toast. Oh. I love French toast. I only found out recently that you can have French toast sweet. I thought it was always just savory. I don't know why I thought that because like my brain never processed that you could have it with maple syrup, which I'm sure is amazing. I still haven't had it sweet, but yeah, you can have French toast sweet. I don't know why I always thought it was just savory. I need to stay on fucking topic. Like that would be amazing if I could just do that for two minutes, for two fucking minutes if I could just stay on topic, but I just get distracted. Oh man, the fairly odd parents. Okay. I loved the Fairly Odd Parents. I really did. But you know what always freaked me out? And even now, it kind of, and not that it makes me, like, it doesn't make me uncomfortable, but it always just made me, like, like, I was like, what the fuck? When Cosmo was pregnant. Like, my brain, like, I, I knew at the time that only women could get pregnant. I got that. But I don't know what it was. Just seeing him and, like, 
when he went into labor. Like, do you all remember that episode where he was like going into labor? I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? I was like, I don't know why, like, why was that in a kid's TV show? I was like not processing that at all. I was fucking seven eating my French toast and watching this dude in labor. I was like, what is going on? Sometimes fucking Timmy was annoying. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He was irritating as shit and he would complain so much. Like, holy shit, dude. Can you just fucking be happy for two seconds? He was 10 with some fucking odd, like fairly odd parents, like fairies, like that would help him with shit. Stop complaining. Like, you know how bad I wanted that? He was so irritating with that. I was like, stop complaining. I I want them like you have it good and you know what else fucking blows my mind is that when i watch shows back now right when i was little timmy turner was an old bitch i was like 10 years old i was like double digits he's so old like he's grown he's like seen the world no you're a fucking baby you're a child you are 10 years old I remember just thinking when I was little, oh my god, they're all so grown and like when there was like tv shows and they were teenagers they were like 15 i thought they were 50 I was like, they have seen things, they have learnt, they are wise. I'm fucking 21 now, and I don't know shit. So this 15 year olds, I don't know what was going on. Like, I know I was a little girl, so I thought that, but my brain, I don't know. It's just crazy to think about now, like, they were literally children. They were minors. You know what I realised as well about Nickelodeon? They had some weird fucking shows. Like, the cartoons were uncomfortable as shit. Like, cat dog is weird. It was a fucking cat and a dog attached together. Like, tell me that's not weird. Like, who thinks of these things? It was amazing, though. Oh, I absolutely loved it. I loved Cat Dog. Me and my brother, I remember we'd have, like, family over and stuff, and Cat Dog would come on at, like, literally midnight, and we would be bored, so we'd go into the lounge room and just watch Cat Dog. And another weird show, it was so scary, I forgot what it was called, but it was, like, it was, like, all these monsters, and I remember there was just, like, one specific monster where it'd hold its eyeballs in its hand. I'm literally typing eyeballs in hand. Oh, man, I found it! The show is literally called... Uh... That sounded horrible. Real Monsters. It was the weirdest show. I think it's actually one of the weirdest fucking shows I've ever watched in my whole life. I don't know how I wasn't terrified, but I loved this show. I love the dude with his eyeballs in his hands. That is some holy grail shit. Only the best of the best of us know this show. If you know this show, you're elite. Know that now. If you know uh, Real Monsters, I can't take that seriously. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say it, but I can't take it seriously the way I'm pronouncing it. But if you've watched that, you're an elite human being. I can confirm with you right now. Rocco's Modern Life, weird show. Ren and Stimpy, weird show. But they were so good. Ren and Stimpy was fucking weird though. Like that was actually a concerning show. There was just like, like I remember their screens and stuff. They're like, like it was weird. It was very strange. Even SpongeBob had its moments, but I love them all. I love all of them. I'm not complaining. I would watch all this shit again in a fucking heartbeat. It was phenomenal. Hey Arnold. Okay, I I need. I keep on talking about the food in every single show, but if you know the chocolate pops, like ice cream things that he would eat in Hey Arnold, I wanted it so bad. I needed it in my fucking system so bad. His sister needed a punch though. But girl, it's not that serious. It's just. It is just never that fucking serious, is it? No. And oh man, Hey Arnold was so good. You know what was an amazing fucking show? It was this show and they all had the same name. It was like three of them. Oh man, no, it wasn't on Nickelodeon. But if you know Ed, Ed and Eddie, man, that was a good show. The Gobstoppers in that, I wanted to eat the Gobstopper. But that's not Nickelodeon, that's another day. We'll talk about Cartoon Network because Cartoon Network was fucking phenomenal as well. I don't think it exists anymore though. Okay, that's enough with the cartoons because I could talk about Nickelodeon cartoons all fucking day because they're amazing. I was never, was I a Dora person? Not really. I didn't mind Dora, but she wasn't my favorite. Go Diego, go, however. I fucking loved Go. I loved Diego. I wanted to be his little boo thing so bad when I was like fucking six years old. I was like, Diego, you are beautiful. Diego, if you just give me the chance, like, I can show you, we can swing on the vines together to find like, his little like jungle people. I was like, let's do this together. You know, I don't, I don't fucking know. Please ignore me. All right, let's go into some shows that were live action because live action Nickelodeon shows fucking top tier. My favorite Nickelodeon show of all time, of all time, because it is the best one, iCarly. When I fucking tell you, no, I'm not joking. If you give me like five seconds, I've, I think I've said this before. If you give me five seconds of any iCarly episode, I'll tell you exactly what happens. I can tell you exactly what happens every episode. And there were so many famous people on that show. One Direction was on it. Fucking Kesha. No, wait, that was Victorious. Um, wait, hold on. I need to see. 
There were so many famous people in Nickelodeon. Like, I've just realized that. Do you remember the Fred movie? I remember that on Nickelodeon. I've watched that so many times. That's one thing about kids. We've watched the same things over and over again. Like, even kids nowadays, if they find, like, a TV show or a movie they love, they will watch it over and over again. We are very obsessive. I remember watching the same shit over and fucking over. You know what iCarly episode I really loved? One of them is when Carly's, like, boyfriend, whatever, he, like, collects those plushies. They were adorable, by the way. I loved those plushies. That was an amazing episode. And then the, the second episode was when they were at the teacher's house. I think it was like Miss Briggs or some shit like that. I could be wrong. And they hid in her closet and her closet was just a fucking like, oh, what's that word called? What's that thing? Shrine. It was a little shrine to fucking Randy Jackson. Like what the fuck was that about? That was an amazing episode though. Oh man, those two are like top tier episodes. I really wanted to try, like now that we're on to food cause I can't fucking stop talking about the food and all these shows. I wanted to try fat cakes and I really wanted to try spaghetti tacos. You know what was really good? The iCarly Victorious like crossover. Was that an episode or a movie? Load bitch, come on. I need to know this information. It's literally not loading. But I don't know if it was a movie or if it was an episode, but it was great. That was really fucking good. Victorious was amazing. I was so convinced I was going to go to that school. I was convinced that in every TV show that there was on this fucking earth, I was going to be in all of them. In all those scenarios, whatever they got into, I was like, that's going to happen to me. Like, if I really wanted to, I could go to this school. No, you couldn't have. No, you couldn't have. One, it's not real. And two, what fucking musical talents do you have? Like, sorry, all you do is listen to music. That's pretty much it, babe when Sam and Freddie kissed, that was, whoa, like, whoa, that was the biggest twist in fucking Nickelodeon history, like, blows my mind to this day, every time I watch that episode, I just, like, get, whoa, like, what the fuck, and then they end up dating, it's just fucking insane to me, like, that was the biggest twist ever, I didn't never, I never, ever liked Carly and Freddie together, though, like, I did not fuck with it. I didn't think of Sam and Freddy. I did not think that until it happened. But I did not fuck with Carly and Freddy either. They were just not... Like, they weren't... Like, leave her alone, Freddy, babe. Freddy's mum was a, was annoying as shit. Tebow loved him. He always had random shit on sticks. I wanted to eat it, though. Like, for some reason, it always looked really good. Oh, man, you know what other iCarly episode was really good? When that girl... I forgot her name. But she was literally trying to kick Sam out of Carly's life. And then Sam gets her on this cruise. And she's like on this cruise vomiting. I was like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. But that was a really good episode as well. Um, I feel like I've barely spoken about any fucking TV show because I get onto these tangents. But Victorious was great as well. I loved that episode of Victorious where they went to Psychowitz's house and they like couldn't get out of character. Oh man, what a good fucking episode. Or the one they get stuck in the caravan at the beach. Oh, Robbie and that needed a punch when he drank all the water. Like you're a fucking bitch. Don't do that. He deserved a kick in the fucking face. Big Time Rush, oh my god. Big Time Rush, when you just hear that fucking theme song, me and my brother would actually just lose our mind. Like, we'd just fucking go crazy. I'd be in the lounge room, he'd be in his room, he'd hear the song start playing, and you just hear him bolt down the hallway. Like, it was, it was about to go fucking down when that show came on. We did not care how many times. And the amount of bangers! The amount of fucking bangers that came out of their show, like, boyfriend, Amazing. And you know what? I heard that they're coming on tour. Like, they're coming to Australia on tour. So, kind of want to go to that. But, Loki want to force my brother to it, but I doubt he'd go with me. That's the thing. My eye is fucking on fire right now. I don't know why. Boyfriend is one of the best fucking songs. It literally has 155 million streams on Spotify. Like, it's too good. Till I forget about that. Turn the music. And then she has her, um... She's in the crowd and she puts up her, what's it called? She has like that. She has a poster, it's like I Heart Kendall. I was like, yeah! I love them together. I thought they were so cute. Like, it's so fucking good. I need it. I'm gonna listen to that song for the rest of the day now. Like, when this song, when they were in the fucking airport and they were in the all white and she was running around the world, like, and she was leaving i was like wow like these are crucial fucking moments people okay i need to calm down that's it for today i'm gonna go fucking listen to all the big time rush shit now like i don't give a fuck i'm gonna listen to all this shit i need to hear this live I, like, I, I need to hear this live. It will literally heal me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go watch Big Time Rush. Go watch iCarly. Go watch all these fucked up weird cartoon shows that are phenomenal for no reason. 
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!